Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah! Yeah! Let me hear you say yeah! Yeah! <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. And this song I'm gonna do for you. This song I'm gonna do for you now. It's called Junk and No Work. No Work on Sunday. Yeah! Junk and say him no work on a Sunday. Him no work, him no work on a Sunday. No, hey, hey, hey. Junk and say him no work on Sunday. No work, him no work on a Sunday. Junk and say him no work on Sunday. No work, him no work on a Sunday. If they come like me, you kill them all the dog, and you will get your proof. You think come like me, you kill them all the dog, and you will get your proof. I was a man of badness. You see me deal with him. I'm not going to go to the house. 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 I'm not John John hold the tune him and say, Charlie, tell the boy and I'm going away. See? It's all right. Him did a tell sugar my not. Him come a youth man promotion one Thursday night and told him I sing. Sugar my not said the singer you want bad singer you know, but I'm going to think you can't. Him not have no key. Can't find no key for him topics. See? You know what I'm So sugar take him and say, all right, come here, okay, guys, studio. And vice him. Tika tika tick. See? My golden egg. My golden egg. Him vice are tuned there. But when him vice him not put it out. Tumblr play on the sound. No one there. Frankie Park come down. Say, but 
Sugar. Oh, you know, boys. Tenasa and put him on road. I'm here, John Java, and kill me, Tenasa. That road and mash up the street. You know what I mean, so? Sugar say, hey, I'm here around here, track here with him. And then I say, put our golden egg now, ticka ticka tap, my golden egg. See? For the first tune there, Tenasa went to film. So I put out the tune. And the boss, Hear the snow. Love your brother, man, like you love your own. I know. Love your sisters, like you love your own. You gotta have love, yeah. Oh, you gotta have love. I know. You gotta have true love. Hey, you gotta have real love. So. Why that a unity? That for you and that for me. You and I T why that a unity? That for you and that for me. That for Tennessee and for Yami. That for Tennessee and for Yami. Lord help me so. Love your brother, man, like you love your own. Hey. And I'm sure you ain't gonna end up like a rolling stone. Hear the snow. If you love your brothers like you love your own, I know you ain't gonna end up like a rolling stone. So, oh, you and I to you, why that's a unity? That for you and that for me. You and I to you, why that's a unity? That for you. Take them low, take them low. Whoa! Pull up, pull up, pull up, see? Pull up, see. Well, well, come in, Yamabolo, with, with, with respect. Yeah, yeah. Well, a big request to the crew, see? Every time. Every time. What's the Clyde? The manager every time. Stop it. Well, man of the crew, Finland, Waterhouse, Bangladesh, Jungle, Lincoln, Old Crew. I mean, one of my personal favorite is the the old time proverbs, pumpkin yeah, belly, pumpkin belly. tenor saw. We Just did. if you could speak about tenor saw, because you know he was an artist whose career was tragically cut very short. Right. There's never been another voice like him. But you know what? I'm gonna give you a history about that particular song. Okay. That song was done as a special on the Friday. The Friday, um, Sugar Miner took. Tenor saw to the studio. They were going to country to play for a sound. So they were doing it as a special. Because he worked with youth promotions a lot yes. of the time. Right. Okay. And you know those days they didn't do special with calling name. Was just oh what about a pumpkin belly? That was a special. Okay, alright. You know, okay. without any name calling in it. So when I did it now, I said, you know what? This tune here wicked and I should catch it in a cassette. So I put in the cassette and recorded the special. You know? So when I record a special, I call Tenasa after and I says, Tenasa, you can't come back tomorrow and do the song for me. Yeah. I love the song, you know. Yeah, yeah. You know, he said, yeah, but we need some money, you know. So I gave him eight grand, you know. <laughs> eight grand. Yeah, so he went to country and he came back the Saturday, was to do the recording. But he couldn't sing it like how he sang it on, on the, the day before. Couldn't find the note. So I played back the cassette for him and said, you know what happened? I will use the Scott. And I just put it back to eight track and EQ it up and then, you know, that was the release, the cassette. And the rest is history. Let's just yeah. touch a piece of that because we can't talk about this record and don't play it. This song blew my mind. I've never been the same since the first time I hear this tune. True. You got to work hard to gain. <laughs> God know the old time problem. That's the only way to do it. Take up and look outside. Say, look at youth sit on a stone and say, boy, somebody sent him here yeah, that I was promoting youth and music and he had some music, you know? Well, his style was, was, was a nice style. His voice sounded very unique to me. So I thought that he had a big chance, you know? be a big star so he started singing on the youth promotion sound system because you know we have a sound system that try to popularize the youth <laughs> you know he had some good lyrics and the first song that made a big impression on, on the public was a song called pumpkin belly which was originally done at a dub plate but later on was put out by prince jammies 
because youth promotion, we generally recruit the youth them, you know, and put them out. So that was one of the first recording and roll call for George Fang. Then the, the album Fever was produced by me. One of his greatest hits, Ring the Alarm, Another Sound is Dying, was composed by him while on stage in 1985. There at the New Kingston Entertainment Center, with the four biggest songs vying for the award of excellence. With two sounds out of the way, King Jammy's Hi-Fi was locked in musical battle with Sugar Minot's Youth Man promotion and tenor saw at the control. From out of nowhere, to steal the show, tenor saw produced the lyrics, four big sound in a one big lawn. This song brought the curtain down on the event and gave his song the title. In two weeks, the record was on the road and became an instant success. He went there and while well, he was down there for a few months, he keep coming every, coming every Sunday anyhow. And he would get his clothes and his money and his meal. And he went away. Sometimes when he come on Sunday, I would sit and talk with him and say, Clive, why you don't come home? Why you staying down there? Why you prefer down there? And you know, he never wanted to give me the reason. But I did not know that this was his reason. It was then about some time after, I understand, somebody come and said to me that, Miss Cherry, you don't hear Clive have a song on the radio singing. I say, I laugh and I say, you get that from? And the person say, yes. We hear Clive was singing and this song was roll call, when the roll is called up yonder. And then it was like a day after I hear the song myself on the radio and I couldn't believe it. You know, I begin to laugh in my heart and say, what? You mean to tell me this was his plan I did not know? But because he had the mind for me, was small growing him, loved to sing, and everywhere you take him and him, they would put him in program and they would sing, they cheer him and say, once ago I was at church, one, once an evangelist said to me, Sister Cherry, this boy can't sing, you know, it's a pity he won't behave himself, because whenever I'm going to church, he will fight and cry on the back with that little boy. Little boy, and will put him to kneel on, you know, in my service, going on. So she always been saying to me, and the thing about the boy, him have a sweet piece of advice. A deep religious background, and the fact that his father lived in the country or rural Jamaica, while his mother lived in town, gave him the experiences and the tools to make his type of reggae music. Nineteen. In nineteen, and your yeah. voice is really strong because I, I expected a, somebody older. I expected somebody around about thirty. Yeah, well, everybody, everybody was summer first. The man said that. So yeah. um, my voice older than me, my voice bigger than me, but you no, know, I just have a mature tone. You know what I mean? <laughs> Did you have to develop it in any way? No, I'm not really bound with that voice. And that's just how it's been all the time. Yeah, from from the start, it's been that way. So. so. It never, never something I'm practice and de develop to that. From a start singing, it was like that. Uh, did you write all your songs? Yeah. So tell me about Ring the Alarm, because that is the biggest thing happening over here at the moment. <laughs> Ring the Alarm. Yeah, how did that all yeah. start? Well, there was a four sound class in Jamaica, right? Um, with youth promotion, um, Jamins, and Arrows International, and Black Scorpio. At that time, I was singing on just the under sound system. Mm. Youth promotion was my sound. Defending you from us in the competition, right? So, I got through the competition, and there are three songs, them, they must get enough people to cheer for them, and yeah, and is that not enough? They never start cheering for you from us, and yet, so I'm saying, all right, I'm not looking at them, I'm looking at them three songs, and I come get out our song and win the competition. We have to win, so I just go back backstage now and start thinking of a quick idea and start thinking of. So, I'm just saying, all right, four big sound, you know, one big lawn. Promotion of play, they had a tree keep calm. Four big sound, you know, one big lawn. You would promotion of play, they had a tree keep calm. So ring the alarm. I'm just all right. I'm just go and stay I'm going to just find the rest and stay it. And watch this old man a tremble. Watch this old man a pray. You know, 
and we sing it and from sing it promotion the, the crowd will start cheer for you promotion and yeah. you promotion and end up to be the winner in the contest right I'm gonna go home that night and get a pen and a paper and just write the song the same night which we're writing some more proper words add to that and make a song and rehearse it practice it and and, and, and the saga that rhythm and went to the studio and record. <laughs> and it became uh, yeah, it an international hit now. International hit. Yeah, yeah. Big. Did you expect it to be that big? I mean, yeah, yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Expect it to be big, big. I mean, no, you know, really, from, from the start, you know, from the start, I'm really sort of people, I'm really go, you know, get into it, I really know it, 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 was, it was going to go wide. All right, so, now, we're going to play another track from the album. Before we do, just sing the opening lines of Ring the Alarm. <laughs> the opening line. Just sing the opening lines. Hi. The tenor saw dub plate. <laughs> so many people asked me about that. He came to England. Um, obviously, we were all fans of him because, well, he was a unique talent, had this amazing style of singing, which was quite unique. I was interviewing him on BFBS Radio, British Forces Radio. And at the end of the interview, I said, I've got a show in New York in December um, with Barry G. And I'd love a dub plate. And he said, sure. So we queued up the rhythm, and in one take, he sung Straight from London to New York City Roddy Gun Clash, clash with Barry G. G They're, They're both, both are going to play reggae, reggae music for we To make the world, the world feel happy And that was the dub, one take And it's become a revered classic <laughs> it's, it's a very special moment in time Reflecting what was happening Tika tika tap, Roddy Gun play non-stop Oh Tika tika tap You could see the, 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 the goodness of life shining in him he would come in and if, if he never fuss in the womb, he would say, okay, mommy, finished. You know, and him, him try to live down everything. Him, him just try to make everybody now begin to feel him at home and happy for him. And whenever he comes in, you tell like, a crowd out the gate there. All the men them from over the, the year, all them here that him was here. You could see them coming in sometime, him car, him get no sleep. And he would take him last cent out his pocket to give to everyone. Sometimes I have to say to him, Clive, no matter what you have, you know, and you do it like this, you go and finish. You can't give to everybody. He said, Mommy, why, Mommy? We know what was suffering, you know. And these people need and want. And God help you, and you have something. You have to give to them. I mean, him treat people as if he was a man about 55. Oh, Japanese girl in dancing, in dancing. Hey, catch the girl in my dance and the whole put in time. No, oh, I'm never out of them timing. Sweet girls, I'm not out of them timing. La 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 la. Come on, hey, cha la 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 la. Hey, la 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 la. The cha la 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 la. Yes, I like all the Japanese girls in dancing. I'm dancing, hey, watch the girls and my dance and the whole time. Tenosaur, after numerous travels throughout the world, left Jamaica, never again to return to our shores. Once when he was leaving to go here, he said, well, Elaine got pregnant, then he was going to, to see what's happening. This was the last time when I know he went up on his own. You know, and then he keep calling me, and I was trying to find out from him, how was everything, and he must say, Mommy, everything is okay. And I go into a different state to do some show. I soon come home. You know, but he always keep in and out. He never settled. He always go back and forth from Jamaica to abroad. Returning home was not an easy decision, for he had become a father, and his family was living in America. While in New York, his adopted home, Tennessee concentrated more on stage shows rather than on recordings. Motivated him to depart from our shores. Well, I think that started with um, a deal with Blue Mountain Music, which was controlled by Lloyd Evans. You know, he did a tour with them, um, 
European and some in America. So I guess um, Light Evans had good I um, desire to see him go further within music. So he was supposed to go there and get some vice training, you know, or further vice training and all things like that. But after being there, well, you know, maybe he liked the place, you know, and decided that he'd settle there for a while, you know. As far as my knowledge, maybe um, after that, deciding to stay there wasn't um, fitting to the plans of the company, Blue Mountain, maybe, you know. Do you know of Tennessee recording any music? Yeah, you know, yeah, I personally work on an album with him for um, SKD Music in Miami, you know, which is, I know that will soon be coming out, it hasn't been released as yet. He just had a song called Chill Out on the Black Echoes chart in, Amer in England, which did very well, because you know, he's, he's the kind of singer don't, that don't sing a lot for every producer. He, he specializes, you know? So that's why you don't hear his music so much. But when he does sing, you know, he always comes with a good hit, good song, because most of the songs are hit, hit songs. He was like a state trotter. From town to cities, he traveled all over the USA, singing reggae songs. It was on one of these trips that the young tenor saw lost his life. The circumstances under which the young singer lost his life is unclear and froth with suspicion. He was found somewhere in a remote area in Texas with his head bashed in, his two legs broken. The autopsy report revealed that he had contracted bronchial pneumonia between the time of receiving injury to the time of death. This meant that he was out in the open, suffering from injuries for hours, if not for days, before death finally came. Tennessee could have been killed by a swindler and murderer, or by a hit-and-run motorist. Some people are speculating that it could have been drug-related. The moral of this story is, however, that young singers need a manager, someone to look after their affairs, to know where they are going and to whom. In 1985, Tennessee received outstanding praises for his performances on Rockers, Dancehall, Four Sounds Clash, and Sunsplash. He also received the JVC Certificate of Recognition for his contribution to the development of Jamaican music. Thank you to the world out of sing, come love him, love him. I love him every time, sing, everyone out of Whoa, oh, oh, oh. What we really need is unity, hey. What we really need, I'm telling you it's unity, oh. When I see why that's a unity, that for you and that for me. You when I see why that's a unity, that for you and that for me. That for you and that for me, Lord, no. That for you and that for me. Here the snow. Love your brother, man, like you love your own. I know. Love your sisters like you love your own. Mm. You gotta have love, yeah. Oh, you gotta have love. I know. Oh, oh, hey, oh, hey. I like how Jamaican girl them dancing, them dancing. Hey, watch the girl them a dance, them no out of them timing. Boy, them never out of them timing. Sexy girl, them no out of them timing. No, no, no. Make Clive Bright, popularly called Tennessee. At the tender age of 19, he ruled the dance hall scene.